I'm going to show you how to open a Google account without opening a Gmail account. If you already have a Gmail account, then that is your Google account. They are one and the same. However, you can enjoy all the services of Google, all these, without having to give up your own email address. So I will show you how to open a Google account using your existing email address. So please follow me. First, of course, you go to google.com. And then you go to sign in. In here, of course, you don't have that. So now we are going to create an account now. Click here. And then you will have this. So, so you enter your own uh, ID here. And then you enter your password. However, do not use the same password you use to access this email. Because you're giving them your ID and password. This password is not to access your email at all, it's to access this Google services. So I recommend that you make up a new password that you use only for this Google services. Okay, I find it convenient to be stay signed in so that I don't have to log in every time. I didn't read this, what this was, was, so if you have time, please read it and see if you agree, then check it. I have my own homepage that I go to, so I will not use this service. And this is where you live. I live in the States, so I keep it here. If you live elsewhere, then please choose your location and then enter your birthday. You're curious, eh? Is that true? Hmm. And then here is the letter that I have to read. And I think that's what it says. And read the terms and services carefully. And if you agree, click here. Okay, all set. An email will come to this email address, and then you have to click a link from that email address. I will show you when it arrives. Okay, the confirmation email came to demo5 at sabiakemi.com. And this is the link you click here. You can just click on it when you receive this, but in my case, I will just copy and show you what happens on the same spot here. So enter it, and this is what you get. It got verified and my account is good. Now, I find it convenient to add this uh, mobile number here. So you go and add SMS. Now, which country you live in and please enter your mobile address and click here. That way, it will send you the password. If, in case you forget the password, they will send you your password to your mobile phone. I find it very convenient and save. Okay, now you're all set. So if you go to the Google site, let's see. Okay, enter. And I am signed in with this, my new email, uh, new old email address that is. Okay, now if I want to say, presuppose we were signed out here and you wanted to use this Google services, then you just sign in with the ID and password you just used. And stay signed it, it's convenient. Here we go. Now, you are in. And you are ready to enjoy all these benefits and even more benefits with this ID and password you just created.